Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we're going to learn how to get Telegram notification for India Mart leads. So here my objective is that that whenever a new lead is generated with the help of India Mart, automatically a message notification of the lead should be forwarded on my Telegram account. For that, we need to create an automation between India Mart and Telegram with the help of Pabli Connect. Pabli Connect runs on two concepts, that is trigger and action. In this process, my trigger application is going to be India Mart and my action application is going to be Telegram. If you want to learn how to do this automation, then let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we're going to learn how to get Telegram notification for new India Mart leads. So here my objective is that, that whenever a new lead is generated with the help of India Mart, automatically a notification should be forwarded to me on my Telegram account. For that, we need to create an automation between India Mart and Telegram with the help of Pabli Connect. So on the screen, you can see the website of Pabli Connect, that is pabli.com slash connect. After browsing this website, we need to sign in to our Pabli Connect account. But if you're a new user, you can sign up for free and get 100 free tasks every month. So as I'm an existing user, I'm going to sign in to my Pabli Connect account. Then you can see all Pabli apps window is going to appear in front of you in which you can see five applications of Pabli. From which we are going to select Pabli Connect by clicking on Access Now. Then Pabli Connect dashboard is going to appear in front of you. To start an automation process in Pabli Connect, we need to create a workflow. For that, we to click on this top right corner button that is right over here that says Create Workflow. Then a new dialog box is going to appear in front of you which is asking for a workflow name. So I'm going to give a name to my workflow as India Mart Automations. As I have given a name to my workflow, it is asking for us to select a folder. On the left side of my screen, you can see I have created multiple folders in my Pabli Connect account from which I am going to select a specific folder in which I want to save this workflow in. For that, we have to click on this drop down arrow right over here. So you can see these are the folders that I have created from which I am going to select India Mart Automations as the folder I want to save this workflow in. After that, I am going to click on Create in order to create a workflow. A workflow is created in the name of India Mart Automations and there are two windows in front of you. One says trigger, another says action. Trigger and action are the two most important steps of our automation process because the process depends on these two steps. Over here trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means our action is a response towards our trigger. In an automation process, there can be only one trigger step but multiple action steps. Firstly, we're going to set up our trigger step. For that, we have to click on this arrow right over here. As I want that, whenever a new lead is generated with the help of India Mart, automatically Pabli Connect should capture the response of that lead. For that, what we have to do is for our trigger application, we're going to select it as India Mart. So I'm going to select my trigger application as India Mart right over here. After that, it is asking for us to select our trigger event and the trigger event is going to be new leads. Over here, this is the polling time right over here. As India Mart is a polling based application, it is going to send the new data to Pabli Connect in every 24 hours. If you want to make any changes in this polling duration, then you can contact us on Pabli forum. After that, we're going to click on connect in order to connect India Mart with Pabli Connect. Then a new window is going to appear in front of you on which I'm going to click on add new connection. After that, it is asking for us to give this CRM key. So where are we going to find this key from? For that, we have to open our India Mart account. As you can see that this is my India Mart account. To have the access of the CRM key, we have to click on settings. Then over here, you have to click on account settings right over here. Over here, you can see it says CRM API. We're going to click on the CRM API. Then as I've already generated a CRM key, I have to copy the key from here. But if you have not generated a CRM key, you have to click on generate key right over here. So as I've already generated a key, I'm going to copy this key from here. And after that, I'm going to paste the key right over here. After pasting the CRM key, I'm going to click on save. As you can see that we successfully connected India Mart with Pabli Connect. To have the response of the lead that is generated with the help of India Mart, we are going to click on save and send test request. As you can see that a response is received and over here if I'm going to see the response it has all the details such as subject right over here for the unique query ID right over here for the sender state Madhya Pradesh right over here and it has all the details like demo user as the name of the sender right over here for the phone number mobile number for the email as demo at the rate pablitudes.com for the city as Bhopal address as Bhopal Madhya Pradesh and it has all the details like the product name right over here for the message as the inquiry message that is right over here 
सो दिस मीन्स दैट वी सक्सेसफुली क्रिएटेड एन कनेक्शन बिटवीन इंडिया मार्ट एंड पैब्ली कनेक्ट सो आफ्टर सेटिंग अप आर ट्रिगर स्टेप वी नीड टू सेट अप आर एक्शन स्टेप एज यू वॉन्ट दैट दैट वेन एवर अ न्यू लीड इज जनरेटेड विद द हेल्प ऑफ इंडिया मार्ट ऑटोमेटिकली आई शुड रिसीव अ मैसेज नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ द लीड दैट इज जनरेटेड ऑन माई टेलीग्राम अकाउंट फॉर दैट वट डेट टू डू एज फॉर आर एक्शन स्टेप वी आर गुंट टू सिलेक्ट आर एक्शन एप्लीकेशन एज Telegram bot. So I'm going to select my action application as Telegram bot, and then for our action event, we're going to select it as send a text or reply. After that, we're going to click on connect in order to connect Telegram bot with Pabli Connect. Then a new window is going to appear in front of you on which I'm going to click on add new connection. But if you have an existing connection, you can choose this option. After that, you can see it is asking for a token. We have to follow the steps given here below to have the access of the token. For that, what you have to do is you have to click on this link right over here. As you can see, it says Bot Father. We go to click on Open and Web right over here. So as you can see over here, this is the Bot Father, and this is my Telegram Web account right over here. After having the access of the Bot Father, we go to click on Start to start a conversation with Bot Father. As you can see, if I'm going to take you back to Pabli, on the second step, it says we are going to send slash new bot to the message box. For that, I'm going to copy this from here, and I'm going to send this message to Bot Father right over here, and I'm going to send the message. Over here it says, "All right, a new bot. How are you going to call it? Please choose a name for your bot. So I'm going to give a name to my bot as India Mart Leads. So I'm going to give a name to my bot as India Mart Leads. Then over here it says, 'Good. Now let's choose the username for your bot. It must end in bot, like example given right over here. So it is asking for a username for our bot. So I'm going to give a username to my bot as username of the bot. I'm going to give it as India Mart Lead underscore bot. I'm going to send this username right over here. Then over here it says done. Congratulations, our new bot. So this is the new bot right over here. And over here you can see it says a token is given. So we're going to copy this token from here. As you can see over here it says test copied on clipboard. So I'm going to insert the token right over here. Then I'm going to click on save. As you can see right over here we have successfully connected Telegram bot with Pabli Connect. So from where we're going to get all this information from? For that I'm going to open a bot father again. Over here you can see you find it at the link right over here. So this is the bot that I have. I'm going to click on this link right over here. So this is the bot that I've created. Now I'm going to click on start right over here. Now what we have to do is we have to create a new group in our Telegram. For that I'm going to click right over here. Then I'm going to click on new group. Over here we're going to make a new group. Over here I'm going to search for India Mart, the bot that I've created. So this is the bot that I've created. I'm going to select the bot from here, and then I'm going to click on this arrow right over here. After that, this window is going to appear in front of you, which is asking for a group name. I'm going to give a name as India Mart Lead. So this is the group name that I want to give. After that, I'm going to click on this arrow right over here. As you can see, a group is created. I'm going to open the profile of this group, and you can see there are two members in this group. One is Jesse Matthew, and another is India Mart Lead. So this is the bot right over here. Now I'm going to give access to this bot first. For that, we have to open this Telegram account in our phone because we can give the access to this bot right over here with the help of Telegram in our phone. For that, I'm going to give access to this India Mart Lead bot of this group. I'm going to create an admin. So as you can see right over here, I have created India Mart Lead bot as an admin of this group. After that, Public Connect was asking for the chat ID right over here. As you can see, after the hash, this is the chat ID of this group. So I'm going to copy this chat ID from here, and I'm going to paste the chat ID right over here. After that, it is asking for the text message. What message do we want to send on our Telegram account? For that, I'm going to write over here a text message. So this is the text message that I want to send to my Telegram group. Over here it says hello team greetings of the day we have received a new lead in india mart and the details of the lead are over here the details of the lead thank you regards so this is the message that i want to send over here we are going to map the data for the field for subject sender's name sender's email sender's address sender's mobile number and product name over here for the data right over here we are going to map the data mapping means inserting data from the previous step so we are going to insert the data from our previous step our previous step was india mart new lead so i'm going to click on this arrow right over here As you can see, this was the response that was captured in our previous step. As you want the data for the subject, I'm going to map the data for the subject. I'm going to search for subject right over here. I'm going to map the data for the subject. As I map the data right over here, the data has now become dynamic. That means every time a new response is going to be captured in our previous step, automatically the data right over here is going to be updated. After that, it is asking for the sender's name. We're going to map the data for the sender's name again. Click right over here. Now we have to search for the sender's name. So I'm going to search for the name right over here. The sender's name is right over here. As I map the data for the sender's name, it is asking for the sender's email. I'm going to map the data again. I'm going to search for email right over here. So I'm going to map the data for the sender's email. Right over here. 
Then it is asking for the sender's address. I'm going to map the data for the sender's address as well. I'm going to search for address right over here. So I'm going to map the data for the sender's address right over here. Next, it is asking for the sender's mobile number. I'm going to search for the mobile number right over here. I'm going to map the data for the mobile number right over here. Next, it is asking for the product name. So I'm going to map the data for the product name right over here. I'm going to search for product name right over here. I'm going to map the data for the product name right over here. So as I've completed mapping all the data, the data has now become dynamic. That means every time a new response is going to be captured in our previous step, the data right over here is going to be updated. After that, it is asking for all these multiple information. I'm going to skip this part because I don't require the fields. After that, I'm going to click on save and send test request. As you can see right over here, response is received and the response that we have received is a positive response. Now I'm going to open my telegram group that I've created. I'm going to check whether a new message is forwarded on my telegram or not. For that, I'm going to open my telegram account. And yes, as you can see right over here, a new message is forwarded on my telegram account which says, Hello team, greetings of the day. We have received a new lead in India Mart and the details of the lead are subject as the subject of the lead that is generated, sender's name as demo user, sender's email as demo at the rate pablitudes.com, sender's address as Bhopal Madhya Pradesh, sender's mobile number, mobile number, product name as a product name right over here. So this means that we successfully created an automation between India Mart and Telegram with the help of Pably Connect. So now to sum up till now what we have done, my objective was that, that whenever a new lead is generated with the help of India Mart, automatically a message should be forwarded on my Telegram account. For that, we have created an automation between India Mart and Telegram with the help of Pably Connect. As India Mart is a pooling based application, over here you can see it says 24 hours. In every 24 hours, India Mart is going to send the new data to Pably Connect. If you want to make any changes in, the, in this pooling duration, then you can have contact on Pably Forum. So this is how we create an automation between India Mart and Telegram with the help of Pably Connect. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, hit on the like button, comment down below if you have any questions and doubts, and please share this video. Not just with these applications, you can create automation with the help of Pably Connect between multiple applications. If you have any doubts, you can send us email on support at the rate pabli.com. If you have any queries, you can ask your queries on forum.pabli.com. If you have any queries regarding the pricing of Pably Connect, then you can check out this link. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, hit on the like button, comment down below if you have any questions and doubts, and please share this video. And thank you for watching.